right, guys. I'm fishing on a on the river end of the lake. Found some fish right here that are they're in school and they're moving. I had to run them down. I spotted them way back there and I followed them up here and they stopped right here. And I couldn't get them to hit me. Well, this one's a crappy. Most of them I'm catching here are some perch. So I thought, let's go smaller. I'm just gonna lay this right here, guys. It's trying to find an easier place. Sometimes my other spot's getting stinky. Well, that's a nice crappy there. All right, last couple I caught been some perch. But I, uh, I'm using something very small. This is the TNT worm. Yep, cutie color. That's a nice fish, guys. All right. I told my wife I was gonna keep about four today. So I'm gonna keep this one. We're gonna have them. We're gonna have them for supper, guys. All right. Let me run just a little bit of water in there. All right, guys, this is what most of them are. <laughs> it's crappy and, and sunfish mixed. And that happens a lot of times in the fall. Y'all can see the color of the leaves here. That happens a lot of times in the fall here. Uh, they pile up and they're moving toward winter homes and they use some of the same areas, guys. Bam. All right, guys, I think I sit here all day and catch these sun perch. Uh, I might kick around here. If I run into another school, I might catch a few more of them. But people ask me this, the reason I was even playing with these sun perch today. People ask me, was this, is this little worm good for crappy and sun perch? You've seen I caught crappy on it and catch sun perch. It's got a little tail that won't quit working. You can you can uh, rig it either way. You can, I got it flat there. You can come back and say, I have no barb on this jig. All right, you can come back and rig it this way. Now, it's, it, it's got a little body on it, guys. And actually, if you got some kids and you're out fishing for some perch around a dock or something, you might want to go to a size 10 hook. If you can find a size 10, a little smaller, would probably even be better, or even a 12, if you just want to catch some perch, because they would definitely catch them. Small that hook is, easy is for a some perch to suck it in. Guys, I believe this is a crappie. Like I said, they're mixed up here, and they do that here in the fall. They run around and use some of the same areas. They're just running up down this bank here. Yeah, that is a crappie. So, hey, this is a good video, guys. Y'all can see that this bait will catch crappie and, and uh, I could say bass. And that's a nice crappie. Now, <clears throat> little bait, little fish, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Now, I have people buying the baits. Some uh, I mailed some out today. Look at that one. <laughs> Look at that one, guys. Woo, isn't he pretty? This little tiny bait right here. Look, a little tiny bait. When the fishing's tough, guys, and I'm not gonna say we had a cold front. Yeah, y'all know I got a lot of clothes on. I don't have to tell you that, do you? It's been it's been nasty the last couple of days. And the day the, today, guys, the wind is awful. Uh, y'all can probably see the water. See how the water's chopping? The wind is awful today. All right. Trying to get my bait. Here's the little bait. There you go, buddy. That got him, that done him in right there, didn't it? All right, guys. That's a nice one. Guess where he's gonna go? Yep. I told my wife I was gonna keep four today. All right. We like them, guys. It's just that I don't like to clean them. That's a good pound and a quarter, pound and a half fish. So just put them. I done lost my water in there. I tell you why my live well's not shut here. All right, guys. I'll tighten my camera up a little bit. It's gonna fall off my chest. I try to keep it loose enough where I can move it. Sometimes. I think it's gonna be a crappy too. I've caught some decent sun perch, and I've caught some baby sun perch. Oh, it is a crappy. All right. So I say they're mixed up here, guys. There's both right here now. I'm gonna keep four today to eat. Maybe five. That depends. He's a little small, but he's a little small. I'll throw him back. All right. All right, guys. I'm just making a short, so that's going to do it. This is on the TNT warm. See, I had it this way this time. So you can rig it. You can rig it either way. You can rig it flat ways, tail, or this way. The last two fish, I had it that way. So every time you move it in the water, a little tail wags like that. It's not very big. It's very small. 
but when the after a cold front like this the wind's blowing it's 10 to 20 today guys yeah um so look when the fishing's tough or if you got a kid with you or if you're a big kid and you just want to catch some fish these little tnt worms are catching fish a little bit will too guys and it'll catch fish of all sizes you can see appreciate y'all guys i got my back turned to the wind <laughs> see, that's why i'm sitting, standing like this guys appreciate y'all guys for watching uh fishing lake country great comments y'all some good folks okay if you haven't checked the site out check it out see y'all next time fishing lake country